An action group has been formed in response to the news that Rolls-Royce is set to make 4,600 people redundant over the next 18 months. Leaders from across Derby gathered at the first action group meeting at Derby City Council offices to ensure their pledge their support for those whose jobs hang will be axed. Paul Harris, Rolls-Royce Paul Harris, Director of Economic Development at Rolls-Royce also attended the meeting, and said, It is never an easy decision to reduce our workforce, and we appreciate the support that the Action Group and Derby City Council will be giving to those who may be affected by the news. We too are committed to helping those colleagues and are in consultation with our employees at this difficult time. We will be working closely with partners like the Action Group over the coming months. Derby in the UK will continue to be at the heart of Rolls-Royce, where we are the city's largest private sector employer, he meeting, led by D2N2 Local Enterprise Partnership, focused on support for employees, and building economic resilience going forward, and comprised of partners from the city and county councils, Rolls-Royce, the Job Center and DWP, Futures, National Career Service, Talent Retention Solution, the East Midlands Chamber of Commerce, Derby University, the Cities and Local Growth Unit, Marketing Derby, Local MPs and more. Peter Richardson, D2N2 Chairman, said, I am pleased to be chairing today's action group. By working closely with partners, we are determined to help those people who have been affected to find work in the local economy. We will continue to help the D2N2 area to perform at its best, building on existing investments including Infinity Park and the Castle Ward development to create opportunities for all our people, businesses and communities. Councillor Chris Poulter, leader of Derby City Council added, I feel extremely reassured by the meeting today, and I hope others are too. We have an excellent group of people working together, and I know their knowledge and expertise will be of extreme value to our action group. It has been a week of difficult news for Derby, with Rolls-Royce and Bombardier both delivering big announcements, however I have every confidence that we will move forward positively as a city. Of course our first priority is to offer support the people who are likely to be affected by the redundancies, ensuring they are able to secure employment going forward, and making sure that their skills remain in Derby, and that is something that we will work closely with all of our partners on, in a real, Team Derby approach. The group will meet monthly for the next three months, and will see the Director of HR at Rolls-Royce in attendance, as well as union representatives. Click here to make your voice heard in our Manufacturing in the Midlands survey.